In a lengthy interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour that got social media buzzing due to his comments about AEW, CM Punk also talked about the lead up to his WWE return at Survivor Series when he could return from a triceps injury that he suffered back in January, Vince McMahon, and more. CM Punk said the ruptured right triceps tendon injury he sustained earlier in the men's Royal Rumble match in January is healing better than the left triceps injury he suffered while in AEW as the process is night and day due to the company having more structure and more protocols in place. He said WWE is protecting him against himself from potentially returning too early, which he considers a welcome change. Punk said his eventual return is a business decision, but that it could be in half the time as compared to his other triceps injury. He verified there was no audible call during the men's Royal Rumble match in terms of who was supposed to win. He said it was real bad on him after the injury and that while there was an idea for him for what he should do afterwards, he pitched the promo he did instead. He was asked about the plan for himself for WrestleMania in which he said that it changed a lot but he thinks it was going to be himself versus Seth Rollins on night one in the main event spot which he was 100% fine with. In regards to his return to WWE, CM Punk said talks with WWE started on the Monday of Survivor Series week after Nick Khan gave him a call. They were initially interested in bringing him in for the Royal Rumble, but thought he had a non-compete. The ball really got rolling after he met with Paul Levesque on FaceTime that week to hash out any past issues and then to talk business. CM Punk said very few people knew about his return and that he told his family on his way to Allstate Arena. He said he had no idea about any of the clues people thought they saw on TV in weeks leading up and was curious himself about why that was happening. He also said he was real close to returning before, even before his time on WWE backstage, and that Nick Khan was a driving force behind it. He said WWE doesn't feel the same as it did 10 years ago, and that someone told him they were glad he was back to experience what he helped start when he was first there. He said it's a friendlier now and a more laid back, relaxed atmosphere. CM Punk also said that his invite to come visit WWE Raw while under AEW contract came from Bailey, who DM'd him after Liv Morgan helped him find his earbuds on a plane from Florida. He said AEW personnel weren't happy about the visit and used the word betrayed to him. In regards to the Vince McMahon allegations, he said that he has interacted with Vince McMahon just once since he returned. Seeing the former WWE TKO executive chairman by chance at the gym at the new WWE offices in Stamford, Connecticut, shortly after CM Punk returned. He said McMahon hugged him, welcomed him home, and that they should connect at some point. They never did. On the allegations against Vince, CM Punk said that they are indefensible and horrific and was surprised Vince left such a paper trail. He hasn't read through the lawsuit getting his information via various text messages. His biggest concern is for the victims. He had no idea any of this was happening during his time there and equates coming to terms with the situation as similar to when he had to come to terms with the Crispin Wall double murder suicide. He said he feels the business is better now without Vince McMahon in it. Also in the interview, he touched on a variety of AEW topics. On his experience last summer at AEW All In at London's Wembley Stadium when he wasn't picked up from the airport, he said that it was completely irresponsible as a company to leave somebody stranded at the airport. When he was asked about Jack Perry's Cry Me a River line at the event, he said, Tony's big idea for Collision was a separate show. We're going to separate everybody and I said that'll never work. Just let me go, just get me out of here. CM Punk continued to talk about how he asked Tony Khan for his release after All Out 2022, saying, these guys don't want me here. This isn't a real business. This isn't a business predicated on making money, drawing money, selling tickets. It's not what it was sold to me as. He went on to say, and then the second day we have this show. I'm sitting in catering, minding my own business. Tony Schiavone comes up and gets me and he's like, hey, I really need your help. I was like, what? And he's like, Jack is cussing me out and he's cussed out Mike Mansuri and cussing out Daryl from production. And he's cussing out the doctor right now. 
I was immediately like, the dude isn't supposed to be here. I was told people are getting separated, so there's not problems, and you don't want me involved in this. CM Punk continued to say he told Jack Perry that several people told him he couldn't break a rental car window with a pipe and that if he wanted to do that, he could do it on Wednesday. CM Punk said Jack Perry seemed to have no problem with this at the time. Saying, it's very much who he is friends with and things never got squashed. Nobody's in charge and it turned into what it turned into. After Jack Perry said the line at All Out, CM Punk says he approached Tony Khan about it telling Tony Khan to be a boss about it. In regards to the actual altercation backstage with Jack Perry at All In, this is what CM Punk had to say. I thought I was doing a responsible thing. I didn't punch anybody. I just choked somebody a little bit. Samoa Joe was there. He told me to stop and then I quit. I turned to Tony Khan and said, this place is an effing joke, man. You're a clown. I quit. Went to my room and then Samoa Joe and Jerry Lynn came and got me and were like, let's just go and kill it. When asked about Tony Khan's comments about being afraid for his life, CM Punk responded, I can't tell you what Tony felt or what he was thinking, but I never did anything to make him fear for his life, but he is who he is. When asked what working for Tony Khan is like, CM Punk responded by saying, I don't like the drama, but the truth is the truth. He is not a boss, he's a nice guy, and I think ultimately that is a detriment to the company, but it's not my company. Also, regarding the controversial Hangman Page promo, he said, He thinks that I got one of his friends who hasn't been fired, fired. I went to Tony and the lawyer and I said, you need to fix that because if I do, you're not going to like the way I fix it. And I thought I was being professional by not just murdering him on television. CM Punk confirmed that he's not able to talk about what happened after his post-event media scrum at AEW All Out 2022. He would only say, I didn't have to sign an NDA for anything I did wrong. CM Punk later said that he believes Tony Khan likely wishes he was still in AEW, but that others don't want him there. When asked if he felt like they didn't want him there from the beginning, CM Punk responded that he believes they didn't. Regarding Cole Cabana, CM Punk said he'll probably not ever bury the hatchet with his former friend. He also recounted a story in which Cole Cabana went up to him and asked if they could talk so that it wouldn't be weird. And CM Punk told him that he would never talk to him ever again without a lawyer present. Punk also added that AJ Lee will probably not ever return to television. He later said of AEW, When it comes to AEW and all that, I genuinely don't regret my time there. I'm just brutally honest about some things. And you ask questions and you're a real journalist, so I'll gleefully go ahead and answer it. It's done. I hope they're happy. I know I am, and I would like to leave it at that. I understand fans and the tribalism because I'm a Blackhawks fan. I'm a Chicago Cubs fan, so I will always troll and needle White Sox fans or Blues fans or Predator fans, you know. But some of that shit was so outlandish talking about my dog and all this awful stuff. Well, there you have it. Some highlights from CM Punk's interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.